Rob, you inspired me with your down and dirty alto sax tone. And that's why I that's why I invited you here on Flower and Creativity. Thank you so much for joining us today. So um awesome. Awesome. what are your current creative goals? Well, I guess um all I really want to do this year, what I really want to do is just make as much music as I possibly can. I want to share it with as many people as I can. And I really I'm really trying to do as many collaborations as I can. Um, one way to build community, really the only way, one of the easier way to build community on, on, on YouTube or anywhere really in, in music is through collaboration. You're going to, uh, you learn a lot from other people. Um, you know, you don't, you never know everything, right? You're always, you're always learning more, right? There's always something you can learn from other people from collaborations, uh, good or bad, either way it goes. It's, it's always an enjoyable experience and I want to, uh, just connect, connect, connect with as much people as I can. Right on. Yeah, I, I do enjoy doing collaborations. Um, I made sort of a, a busy schedule for myself of trying my absolute <laughs> best to release yeah, yeah, four yeah. videos a week. And, um, that's it's a, a lot, lot of work. <laughs> well, but, I'm I'm also um, doing that as well, um, and I'm trying to do it in the sense of trying to get some music fandom things going. Now the copyright issues are making that a little bit difficult, um, yeah. but 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 anyway, I I feel like I still kind of have to do it because um, That's right. in order to really like make it as a channel, I need more than just musicians. I feel like I need some music fans as well. That's it, yeah. right? And so Absolutely. what's an easier way to do that than like doing videos about other music that I love? And then that way um, they'll see hopefully that influence in my music is sort of kind of where I'm going with that. But it's honestly Absolutely. really just a matter of sharing the love, you know, of that music with everyone. That's really where it's coming from. Um, and uh, I, I don't know. I really mm -hmm. enjoy uh, branching out and collaborating and um that's what jam and chat is all about i'd love to have you on jam and chat sometime. yes yes absolutely we'll we will do that we will do that for definitely. sure definitely we just had a really awesome session um it's gonna it's gonna cover us for cover us for at least the next month cutting it up <laughs> into, into shows okay. it's great there you go yeah awesome. so yeah i had a funk bassist and i had um this really lovely singer from the UK, and um, I had Jennifer, my my good old faithful saxophone oh, yeah. flute That's player. Right. Yeah, 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 it was really cool. It was Very four cool. of us. That was Very a good cool. jam. Yeah, we, yeah. I we talked that. about microtones, and we talked about negative harmony, and we played some of our originals, and it was just a good time. Awesome. Online open awesome. mic. That's perfect. That's yeah. perfect. That's the way the future is looking right now. Anyways, well, <laughs> you know. It's okay. I mean, it's it's tough times this way. It's tough times, but uh, we have to adapt, right? We got to keep. Uh, I guess I don't want to jump ahead of myself, but I mean, that's that is kind of the beauty of what's happening right now. It is causing people to connect online even more so, and and it more so in a real fashion than than has been before. It's, I think it was more superficial, um, fake connections. But I find uh, twenty twenty connections have been. I'm more, I'm more heart to heart, heart in a sense. Um, it's been a lot more real. So, uh, you know, I, th I think you know you gotta look for the the good and everything, right? There's there's you can always look for the bad, but I mean, I think the collaborations is uh, is the way to go. It's the way to go. You know, it's great. Definitely, definitely. And um, I, I was enjoying collaborating with my daughter. Um, I, I made saw that. Yeah, I made yeah. a deal. I said, okay, I want to do this video. I don't care. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> no, no I, I seriously, I want to do this video, and I want it to be with you because yeah. the, the Bill and Ted's movie was about the the guys and their daughters. So I, I wanted to do it yet, with my daughter. But that's okay. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. It, so, so that was the re and so I was like, I'll react to anything you want. She's like, anything. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was called YouTube poop. <laughs> they edited a song, oh, yeah. ITP, like it was Very supposed nice. to be yeah. random and weird, and that's what she wanted to do. So we did it. Perfect. And Perfect. it was, I was crying, laughing, man. It was hilarious. It looked, it looked like, like a good time. time. It looked like, like a good time. time. I, uh, I love Bill and Ted, by the way. I, uh, of course, you know, I'm, I'm 43. That's <clears throat> Bill and Ted brings me back. You know, obviously that that was such a silly movie, but good. So you're, but Matthew's music has lessons is saying. Um, I should see this movie, correct? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah so you gave it a big old thumbs up. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. So, <laughs> so on. let's let's move on. Uh, let's talk about. Do you have a daily routine? Because, for me, <clears throat> I 
I'm all about um, jogging. I, 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 I meditate best through music, but that's not okay. enough for me. Um, I have a very active mind. And so yeah. throughout my life, I found that when I jog, especially in the morning, then I can sort of kind of, you know, notice all that thinking going on and try to refocus um, on my breath, on my heart beating, on the feeling of myself moving. You know, now's not the time for thinking, right? I'm, I'm jogging, right? That's right. That's right. So, like, do you have a daily routine and it helps, that you feel helps you in your work? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I have a day job like most people and, and I'm a performer as well. Um, so I, I wake up at uh, 3.40, Monday to Friday, and I finish at 1 o'clock. So I'm, I'm done pretty early in the day. Uh, when I get home, uh, I don't know if you've heard of Gaia TV at all. I like to, uh, it's, very, it's a spiritual channel if anyone's checked it out. Um, I like to put that on for about an hour, just relax. I, am a, I like to meditate. I'm a, a spiritual person, I guess you can call me. Um, so that's... I, I, I do like to just meditate to relax. Um, if I can meditate, deep breaths just to get my calm. Um, and yeah, you really have to, uh, it's really all about time management, isn't it? I mean, we have our daily routines that, that get us going. Um, I have a fairly active day job, so I get that. Um, you know, my daily routine, when I get home, I do uh, relax, wind down for an hour. Um, then I'll play saxophone for an hour, whatever that consist of whether it's practicing or recording or and then after that then there's like an hour of uh, social media time uh, trying to comment trying to uh, reach out to other talented artists see if they want to do something together um, so right I guess my routine is you know work uh, music work you know work music work uh, every day is really I don't really take a break from it. Um, I'm, I'm gung ho this year. I'll, I just want to keep producing more and more music as much as I possibly can. So, um, and, and good music, not, not just, you know, throw something out and, you know, like something from the heart. So, um, yeah, I, I guess that's, if that's the question, that's, that's my answer. That's, that's my routine, really my daily routine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what challenges have you faced? that disrupt your creative flow. You can see, um, I have a challenge right here. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I, I was yeah. cooking dinner. See, um, I don't have a day job. I, um, I'm a sort of a stay home dad slash uh, entrepreneur trying to start my, yeah. my, my online business that the physical uh, businesses were destroyed by the pandemic. So um, I've faced a lot of challenges, but most recently the one I wanted to talk about was this because um, it, it, um, today I started having the idea for a song and when you start having the idea for the song, you don't want to like stop. You want to like see if you can get that idea to flower, but I have an obvious challenge. Um, how am I going to play my guitar with my left index finger, um, not working? So mm. I started just kind of writing the lyrics and I at least was able to uh, strum my way through some ukulele chords just using these three fingers to try to at least put something with it uh, because, yeah. because, because it was coming right then, right? If I waited, I would have got nothing. So, you know, what challenges have you faced that have, you know, really had an impact to your creative flow? Uh, truthfully, the, the, the number one challenge is, is time. It's, it's time. Um, I don't let uh, too many things in the outer world affect me too much. I'm a pretty chill, relaxed guy. Um, challenges, they're, they're, you can always get something good out of a challenge, right? So it's not a bad thing uh, by itself, but it's just time. It's just finding time to edit, finding time to uh, creative ways to, to do things. So I've, I've taken upon doing um, batch recording sessions, right? I'll do a, a couple live videos, a couple audios in one session. Um, and that way I have something for throughout the week, you know, as you're well aware, you're doing, I'm sure, I mean, unless you're doing it all every day, which you very well be doing. Um, but <laughs> it just takes so much time. Uh, the editing, uh, the, the interacting with, uh, the fans and, uh, comments, uh, I love doing it. I'm trying so hard. Um, lately I've got a little more traction on my channel, so I've never had to deal with this before. Um, and it's, and it's, I, I feel blessed. I'm, I'm loving it. I truly am. 
but it, it takes some time to, if you really want to connect with, with everyone who's reaching out to leave a beautiful comment, uh, it takes time. So it's time. Uh, my challenge is, is getting sleep, I guess. I mean, uh, uh, last night I, I, I finished uh, editing a song. I uh, went to bed at 1.30, got up at 3.40, uh, did, uh, did my work day, day came, came home, home uh, did a little other, a few other things, and I'm doing this now. Um, and I, I love doing it, though. I mean, I, I love it. But uh, it's just time. It's just time. That's my big challenge, really. Um, mm -hmm. oh, and I guess another big challenge is uh, because I'm a woodwind player, um, I really love busking. I love busking. I love being out there and playing in front of people and you feel their energy, the connection right in front of them. Um, you end up having a lot of beautiful, lot of beautiful moments, moments, you know, you know someone, someone crying, crying, you know, you, you just, just hit, hit them, them the right way. way. I missed all that. And, uh, and right now I think it's guitars and, and at least I'm in Canada, um, <clears throat> in Ontario. And for the most part, uh, guitar players are, are kind of able to, you know, anyone who's not playing a woodwind or, uh, you know, a brass instrument singers, um, we just had some street performances around here recently where I live, but again, it was just guitars, you know, you can't, uh, so I guess that's a chip, but we got to roll with that, right? I mean, there's, <laughs> there's nothing what we can do right now. Just wait. You could, you could buy one of those little bell covers. Supposedly, <laughs> you know, supposedly like high school marching bands, like the directors are going to like require all the students to buy these things. So it's going to oh, become no. like, it's going to oh, become no. a pretty big industry pretty quick, man. <sighs> Maybe we should hop in on that. Maybe. <laughs> That looks so weird. That would look so weird. But I get it. I get. Have it. you seen what I'm talking about? The little bell no. covers? No, I haven't. No, I. It's makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then no. you buy like a special mask that just has like a mouthpiece slit. Which <laughs> yeah, like, that's right. I, you know, or whatever. Right. And then, and then I guess you could like zip it up when you're not <laughs> using. That's the right. Mouthpiece. That's right. It's a great idea. It's genius. It's genius. <laughs> so, absolutely. Uh, on on that vein, how has the pandemic situation affected? you in your work it has been phenomenal for online and terrible for life I mean, I mean exactly, exactly. It's the exact, it's the exact same, same thing, thing. Uh, I mean my you know I'm, I like I said I'm starting to get a little bit traction on my channel now and um, it's because I everything slowed down so much obviously everyone knows that and it just really made you focus and choose on, on what you want to spend your time on so um, like I said, I've been playing saxophone for over 30 years. I've been a house musician for, for most of it. Um, um, and now it's just, it's, it's time. So I guess this pandemic has, has put a little fire under my ass is what it's done, really. It's just made me, you know, not that music's necessarily my calling or anything. I'm not going there or anything, but I just, I feel I have something um, special to offer people. Um, all musicians have their own style and sound i mean and you know uh, there's enough musicians out there for everyone um but i just i really i really want to connect this year like i said i, I don't know i went back to that before but i just i just want to connect yeah. absolutely um one yeah. of the things that was my big goal um i live in a motorhome uh, we moved across the country in this motorhome we bought, and um, then we were renting a house, and so I was renting the motorhome to try to offset the cost. Um, my plan was to do a winery tour. This is still my plan through Oregon, okay. and yeah, yeah. Um, right, just take the motorhome to the winery, make a deal where you know, hey, let us camp out overnight. I'll do two shows, blah blah blah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Right, maybe yeah, Saturday yeah. night, Sunday morning, or for lunch, Beautiful. or whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, it'd be a really fun thing, you know, make some money, meet some people, promote my That's channel right. live, but that just isn't happening yet. Um, and so, I, at first, I was just going to use YouTube as, like, my portfolio. So I could show people, hey, here's tons, you can see me playing whatever you want, right? But then yeah. it sort of metamorphosized into, I need something to do. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So then the idea of shows came in. And the first one was Jam and Chat. That was just totally where I started really collaborating with other people, right? And now we're in the 50s mm. uh, on episodes, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and it, yeah. it's, it's like I went, it went from like having no idea how to use Zoom to now I'm like trying to help other people to get it set up before they show up. Perfect. So, yeah, you know, yeah. the challenges are not always necessarily bad. And you know, I exactly. can see what you're saying, at least for Internet-based ba things, 
Um, you know, the pandemic has been incredibly good. Um, yeah. But anything in person, yeah, it's it's been really, really, really terrible. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, someone in the community here reached out for me to, uh, they were going to, you know, when the, the store shut down, they were going to have me come play inside by myself, record it, just trying to draw attention to our, our downtown. We're, I live in a small town. I say downtown. It's not downtown. It's like, like I think there's... there's Maybe three thousand people that live around here. It's not very big, but uh, but that ended up not actually. That ended up falling through. But that the people are trying just to get you know creative ideas, just just to get some sort of traction to get people to come out. But uh, yeah, it's tricky times. Tricky times. But. Definitely. All right. So we all have excuses in our lives, right? This is this Absolutely. is a, a potential excuse, right? But I didn't allow it. Right? That's true. I That's didn't right. allow it. I worked That's around right. it. So how do you deal with excuses on a daily basis? Um, that's, that's a tough question for me. Uh, <laughs> not, not that, that tough. tough. Uh, I'm, I'm just, just a focused, focused guy. guy. I'm a focused guy. I've, I'm determined. Will right now is strong. Um, and I, I'm, I'm always, always in the moment. moment. You know, you hear people say that, but I truly am. I'm, I'm not, not I'm, I'm focused, focused on the future a little bit, of course, right? You have, your goals and um, I don't stress on the past. I'm just always in the moment. So little, as, as, as you're getting older and wiser, I'm getting older and wiser. The small stuff doesn't bother you as much anymore. You know what I mean? So like I said, that was great. You had a creative solution. Uh, I haven't had, uh, I've had a pretty good run so far. So I haven't had, but besides the pandemic, I haven't had uh, too many challenges. I mean, Growing, growing, growing on YouTube. That's a challenge, I suppose. You know, I guess I could try harder. It's, I, I, uh, <laughs> that's my answer for you, Matthew. <laughs> All right. So, so do you do you understand the concept of synchronicity? Is that something you've you studied in your, I, your spiritual I, path? Uh, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Hundred um, percent. Wow. You you're blowing. My mind, blowing my mind. <laughs> Go oh on. my god. No, seriously. Okay. This just can't possibly be a coincidence. It's, it's literally impossible that this is a coincidence. <laughs> the song that I was writing today is literally titled... Absolutely. Look at this. The song's called The Present. <laughs> that's the title, dude. The Present. I said, oh, that's awesome. There's, that's a awesome. Place I I, there's a place I yearn to be. Mother Nature's gift to me. The Present. Now is all we ever see, though it can be slippery, the present. The future's just a dream, and the past didn't last. The present is the place to be. Will you join me in the present? Give me shivers down of... my spine, man. You give me shivers down my spine. That's hilarious. That's awesome. Attention but... is the gift we give, and we never turn it off. Energy flows where attention goes, whether we like it or not. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And then that's, distraction. That's... Sorry, one more thing. Distraction is a booby trap. We can spring if we try. Take a deep breath and let it go. Repeat until you see why. Those are good lyrics, man. I like it. I dig it, too. Uh, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was just writing that today. And I mean, I guess it's that is definitely a universal topic. Like, the, there oh, yeah. is, yeah. I've already sure. written several songs about the present moment. Um, now yeah. is the time for one. Um, I, I really, I really love that song. Um, nice. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's crazy. It's insane to me. Okay. No, I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I mentioned running as something I do to manage my stress. Um, I, I feel like, you know, if I don't exercise at least five days out of the week, then not only is my body physically tighter, but I feel like my creative spout is, you know, like not turned yeah. off, but, you know, it's, it's, it's like the, the water gauge is turned down a little bit, and so it's only yeah. maybe half on, whatever. Mm -hmm. What do you do to manage your stress? Well, what I will do... Um, Basically, I'm not a, a good painter at all, but I will, um, if I've gone a lot of days in a row doing music and editing and all the things that we do, um, when I feel that, because it happens, yeah, it happens to everyone. You, you get a little drained of, of your energy and, and the creativity is not flowing like you want. 
Um, I'll usually just take a day off or two and just paint or I'll, I'll go out in my garden and, uh, you know, just get grounded, take my shoes off, go stand outside. You know, <laughs> it just feels good getting grounded. But uh, that's it. I'll do some gardening or I'll, or I'll just do some mediocre painting, but it just feels good to do it. Whatever comes to you and then it kind of gets you inspired again uh, for myself. Anyway, everyone's different. Everyone's different. But that's for me. That's how, it, you know, I'm not a good painter. <laughs> but I like to paint to, to, to recoup, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Right on. I really like you bringing up grounding because um, one of the things that I've learned about life is that at least, at least on earth, this experience that we're sharing is about balance, yin and yang. Right. And nice. that, um, you know, the homo sapien yeah. brain is very very young and very very powerful and it it, it distracts very easily and so Absolutely. right the antidote is balance and and that's getting in the physical body and and grounding right yeah that's not enough the, people right that's why i have to run right yeah, it connects absolutely. me with the earth through my breath and and on the days where my mind's extra busy what what works for me Right? Is there something mm -hmm. about the the number three? I don't know what it is, but if I yeah. inhale and exhale with my steps, like okay. in for three, then out for three as I jog, okay. then I'll just, if necessary, count in my head one, two, three, one, two, three, as I breathe in and out, and then anything else that's not that, it's obviously not what I'm doing. And so that kind of gets my mind a little bit involved, kind of like mantra. Have you ever gotten into mantra where you're bit, doing yeah, music yeah. and jamming or whatever, singing, but you know, you're also repeating that mantra out loud and that vibration, it kind of right. replaces thinking. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that you said yang, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, of, I hear yin yang all the time. I go, ah, but. Uh, yang. Doesn't sound good to me. <laughs> it, it doesn't. It doesn't. No. <laughs> no, you're right. Um, it's, it's like, uh, one thing I do if I can, like I think I said it earlier, if I can't meditate, deep breaths. I mean, that is a very grounding thing to do as well. Absolutely, you got, got it. it. I mean, I, I I played basketball in high school, and um, I was pretty active years ago, so uh, I can definitely relate. Uh, and I think back to think high school, back to it, high was, school uh, it was uh, gym, gym and, and, and music class. class. That's, That's where I was. Uh, 16 out of my 32 credits in high school were music classes. So I can't imagine that like the teachers and students like right now that don't have that outlet of, of music right now. That's, mm. that's a shame. It's a shame. I know my daughter, she's taking vocals, but um, they can hum or they can sing outside by themselves. Or, you know, they're do everything is because it has to be done. You know, I mean, there's... It is what it is, right? But uh, but it's sad to see that. And I think I would I would as a young man I would have struggled a little bit at having that outlet in, in school for music. Uh, that'd be a struggle for me for sure. These days, random thought. No, <laughs> but, no, uh, totally. You know, totally. So yeah. um, let's let's move on to let's let's talk about the naysayer a little bit. If they're still here, but they're one of those people that's like, okay, well that that works for you guys, right? But like you know. I'm just not, I'm just not any good. I'm not creative. Like they're blocked, right? What advice would you offer to that person that's still feeling blocked in this moment? Um, I would suggest to them that um, there's probably a deeper issue going on in some sense. Um, you know, not to get, you know, all spiritual too much, but there's probably a uh, an underlying hurt or emotion that you're dealing with that's maybe blocking your ability for creativity, creativity or joy, or this may be something that you don't truly love doing. Um, <clears throat> there's things I've done before. I was like, Oh, I want to just, I want to do this. I want to do this. But, um, it turned out it wasn't for me. You know what I mean? And so sometimes if you can't keep pushing on and pushing on through it and, and the creativity is not coming, I don't want to tell people to give up on, on, on their dreams. That's not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but it's a, it's a valid question. Is this something that I truly, truly love doing? And if it's not, maybe there's your answer. I, you know, uh, uh, creativity is in everyone, right? We're all creative beings. We're all co-creating everything. We're, we're creative. That's kind so, of what I'm fishing for. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. We're co-creating. So <laughs> we we can do this. You can. Anyone can do anything if if you if your heart's in it. Uh, but your heart has to be in it. That's that's what I think it comes down to. Um, Definitely. And, you know, and you know, I. You know, my my kids and that to say, you know, I can't, I can't do this or or this, you know, this, this subject's not for me. And I'm like, well, yeah. How much effort have you really put into it? Truly, like, how much effort have you truly put into it? And if you have put some true effort into it in the time, um, and you're, and 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 you're enjoying it, but you're not getting better, that's okay, as long as you're enjoying it. Um, if you're not enjoying it, then move on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's that's my. I I, I play recorder. I play clarinet. I hated them. <laughs> this is a strong word, but I did not enjoy those instruments. Um, I always I always wanted to play saxophone, but uh, you know, it's only to a certain age we were able to do so in the school system, anyway. So you can buy your own. Yeah, but, uh, I, you know, I can't say that I ever hated the piano, but when I was in college and I had to take class piano oh i hate yeah, that yeah yeah yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. no doubt no doubt <laughs> uh, the teacher you make you play your major scales and like you know you have one finger wrong and you got like a c and you're like what the fuck? Oh. What, you know oh you have to have yeah. every finger oh okay whatever um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um you know i really 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 appreciate you being here with me rob and um we're gonna get ready to move over to patreon.com slash matthews music lesson studio for some bonus content so um i just want to make sure that everybody knows how to find you online to schedule you for future performances and whatever you'd like to share with people thank you for being on and the floor is yours rob thank you so much matthew truly i appreciate this thank you uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I can be, be uh, reached uh, on both most social media, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. It's all Rob Barkley Music, um, as well my website, robbarkleymusic.com. Um, you can send me an email at rob at robbarkleymusic.com or my bookings, if you want to do a booking, uh, booking at robbarkleymusic.com. Um, best way to reach me, uh, I would say... Hmm, I'm pretty good. Uh, if you can drop a message in YouTube, I'm always game for that. And uh, and the email I gave is always a good way to reach me. So, so for all of our viewers that are just dying to know, are you willing to practice safe sax? No. No, I mean get one of those <laughs> horn covers. Safe, safe sax. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> If, if you're selling it, I'll buy it. If you're selling it, I'll buy it. <laughs> oh, maybe I have to maybe I have to go shopping for some links and put them That's up right. on the screen for everybody. Definitely. That's right. Definitely links. There we go. <laughs> All right, Rob. This has been a great time. Thank you so much for being here with me on Flowering Creativity, and we're going over to Patreon for bonus content. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. I'll see everybody next time on Flowering Creativity. <laughs>